a little concerned about actually finding something to do for the Sunday sampler that's fresh. There, yeah, obviously not many games coming out right now. Well, outside of the, yeah, the trash indie. Could always, uh, yeah, do the 10, uh, 10 games under $10 again, but starting to get slim pickings on that. I'll figure out something. Maybe a uh, special of, yo, uh, things that look interesting or good deals. I don't know. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, now I'm sad. What? Well, TV used to always do, like, the, yeah. the Steam sale uh, shit, like, in gems or whatever. That's not what they were called, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, all, there's lots yeah, of people who be, do that, but... Yeah, there's going to be all sorts of little moments of, oh. Yep. Like, I could only imagine what he would have said to the Sony press conference. <laughs> Probably something very snarky. You know, just, uh... Just a guess. Oh, boy. It's a good thing I got caffeine. I don't know where that yawn just came from, yes. but... And then silence. I was tempted to say something, but then I decided to stay quiet for an extra few seconds. Commit to the bent. Bit. Well, I guess we're not recording the, uh, this week. You... Uh... Yeah, unless you you want to do uh, yeah, a completely silent one. Hey, it'll be the easiest editing uh, you've ever done. Uh, tools generate uh, uh, silence. <laughs> yeah. Three hours worth. Post that. All right. Are you ready? Bring up the show notes so I can paste in uh, stuff. Your games games you played. Yeah, I figure you may actually want to know about them. I'm getting the show notes up and running. Audacity. Since we have so many, do you want to alternate tonight? Oh, uh, we can. Okay. Okay. Uh, is my mic, yeah, my microphone looks good, I think. Yeah, I don't know what was causing that yesterday, but, uh, I'm just gonna blame Skype. That's probably a good, good thing. A true thing. Yeah, stupid Skype. Uh, if Discord wasn't such a pain in the ass to do secondary recordings on, I would say sw- switch to it. Yeah. See, that's done. And there's my games. Hey, we actually uh, have a crossover. We do? I'm not looking at the... Robothorium. Oh, nice. I hated it. I kind of like it. I'm not super far into it. I've played it for... Oh, maybe an hour total? I think I've Steam played... says I've played it for longer, but... Yeah, I think it's I've a played it game. less than that. Uh, well, uh... So let me line this up. So, uh, well, we're, it's both on our third, so it should line up. Yeah. So you've got five. And yeah, I've got six. Um, and I'm this type of manager, but fix that. So yeah, you can... Let's see, one, one, two, two. Both two, three, four, four, five. And then six, so I'll double up at the end, which is fine. 
Well, we know how you like doubling up your ends. Aw, yeah. Butt jokes. Woohoo! Mmm, and peppermint tea. But not peppermint tea made from butt jokes. <laughs> Aw, man. Gonna have to get some more tea uh, next week. I'm at about half a package. And also I had to uh, use one of my containers for tea containment. Uh, uh, at the old place, I uh, kept my tea in there, this uh, little cabinet with uh, all my other sweets so that, you know, they wouldn't be eaten before I wanted to eat them. Because, you know, sweets being left alone was a good way for my stepfather to eat all of them. Yeah. And my uh, Whoppers I have a couple boxes of have a distinct peppermint flavor to them from the uh, scent of the uh, tea. Peppermint Whoppers. That doesn't I mean, sound good. It's not terrible, but not something I would re replicate. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. But, oh, I did get email uh, confirmation that I'm getting the new lid. Turns out, uh, 30 some ounces of, uh, unpopped popcorn, uh, dropping a container full of that directly on its lid will break one of the tabs off. <laughs> it's, it has a, a lid that plops on, it has a gasket around it, and it has four tabs around it. Yeah. It kind of just latches on. Yeah, it turns out I hit it just right to break it. <laughs> All right, ready to get the party started? I think so. Okie dokie. And uh, no good stuff, or nothing I want you to uh, share on the pre-show, at least this time around. No what? No, uh, no pranking content on the pre-show. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't running the Skype recorder the whole time either. I started that when I came back from my 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 pee break and your tea break. The TP, the PT break. TP. TP, 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 TP. Right. <clears throat> Audacity pulled up. Yep. Ready to record in three, two, one. Record. And for the sync, three. Two. One. Sync. Sync. <clears throat> it's a nice cough in there. And just a little tickle at the back of my throat. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Huh. What? My waveform actually on Audacity is a little low, but my recording yeah. volume is set properly. Yeah, I'm looking at my waveform and everything looks fairly well. It does have a couple peaks, but it looks about normal. I wonder. Make sure Skype isn't fucking with your recording settings. Yeah, I'm actually going to check OBS. As I mean, that sounds weird. Uh, well, OBS isn't running right now for me, so... Nope, it wasn't for me either, but let's just see. That did not make a difference, so maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me. Maybe, like, Skype being like, hey, your mic's too quiet has got me all paranoid. Because all of my settings are right. Skype has not taken control of my microphone. The volume settings are set the way they're supposed to be. I don't know. It'll be fine. I can fix it in posts. I can boost my audio if I need to. Do it live. Half the time I have to raise my audio a little bit anyways, just so that I'm much more even with you, just because you're louder than me or uh, well, something. Well, my post-processing. Oh, because, yeah. uh, during this, I'm a bit quieter, but it gets boosted uh, in the chain. Gotcha. Because one of the things I do is it has a... Uh, uh, essentially lowers the peaks and then brings up my low bits where I'm just kind of muttering or just sitting here talking a little bit, something like this, to try to even it all out. Or even it a little bit more. It's not, you know, I don't want to have no inflection. I don't want to go full Ben Stein. Yeah. But 
uh, be able to even it out a bit more so there's not times where I'm inaudible uh, seems to help at least. Yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. <clears throat> Game face. Game face. Oh, you know what? I didn't change the date in the show notes. Oh, that would have been hilarious. All right, I fixed it. Pretty much uh, right from the start, uh, he says war does not compute. It's like, oh, well, you're my new best friend. <laughs> yeah, I loved I, I loved Loderbot from moment one. I looked up who the mystery character was at the end. Yeah, I'm glad I did not have that money. <laughs> Even if I'd had the money, I wouldn't have spent it on him. Even though it is funny, there's uh, voice lines about asking for the refund policy. From Claptrap? Yeah. Oh. yeah what's your uh, uh, refund policy? But the fact I did not encounter Claptrap uh, made this game a lot better. Granted, the bugs made it a lot worse, but still. I did not experience any bugs. I had Telltale's oh. usual foray of uh, uh, clipping and had, there sort was the of... Clipping, there was the animation bugs. Yep, animation, oh, the, like, glitchiness. The animation was far worse in Episode 1 and Episode 5. Um, Episode 5 was the only episode I really had any problems with, because there was a lot more action... And that engine does not handle quick movement very well. Uh, or any movement, I, really. I have, oh, probably the bug that pissed me off the most, well, outside of the crest of desktop at the end, as Katie practices with the drum kit in the background. Yeah, she's opening and closing containers or something. Uh, uh, was I had one point, the game completely ignored my choice and pick something completely different from what I did. Or the game just acted like I made a different choice. Yeah, I never had that happen. And yes, I was ignoring you because Rage was talking to me. You were making vague threats about hurting me. Listening to you and ignoring you are two different things. I can listen and not respond. That's Jared, be honest. She doesn't give vague threats. She's just generally threatening to me. Do you need to go to a battered husband's home? I do. I do indeed. I'm, I'm not safe. I'm blinking twice. Send help. Wait, and then the line goes address. dead. He didn't respond. I don't know if he didn't hear you or if he's ignoring you. I can't quite make out what she said. Oh, she said, don't forget that she has your address. Yeah, but I also live in a gay community. We have, she has bolt cutters. Guns are so impersonal, though. Easy there, Joker. Well, then who are you going to shoot? The, you're shooting the door. Not with a handgun, you're not. This is the movies. We got rid of those shotguns. <laughs> she said we're just no fun. Yeah, like, here's what that doesn't make sense, is that 
uh, well, I had a couple of these, but one of the major choices, uh, uh, went completely bonkers was that, uh, I honored, uh, uh, Scooter. Yeah. Which honestly, it shocked me that they killed him. Yeah. Uh, but then the game acted like I didn't and everybody was pissy with me. Wait, what did you use to honor Scooter? Because I think you had to use his catch a ride catchphrase um, for it to count as being because honored. I gave, because I gave him a space cowboy. Oh. <laughs> hey, I, I see Cowboy Bebop. I take Cowboy Bebop, even if uh, they call it anime crap. That just makes me want to kill them more. Yeah. Okie dokie. Um. I think everything's all ready. Um, I'm on episode four right now, taking down notes. Okay. Sorry I didn't do this before. I didn't realize I didn't. Fine. I'm pulling up Steam. I guess I need to have my games ready in case we do games we played. I haven't really played anything a lot this week, because it was mostly, well, other than Borderlands. Uh, I played one a few hours, then a couple for an hour or two. I mostly was so like... I do have games to talk about. I mostly was testing um, games that I got on the sale. One, to make sure that they worked, and two, to see if I like them and could refund them in time to get money well, back for the sale. That's what that's what two of mine were, but they're good enough that I want to talk about them if, yeah, if we're doing games we played. Yeah, it all just comes down to time. I uh, I try to be in bed by one at the very latest. Or you turn into a pumpkin. You do realize <laughs> it's supposed to be local time zone, right? Yeah. Or I turn into a very tired, grumpy counselor. No crazy people today. No anything interesting except that the uh, we had a. A massive water leak, and they had to shut down all the water to the building at, like, lunchtime. So that was fun. There were some people who got upset because they couldn't go to the bathroom, and they left. But there was no fights or anything, so... Very boring day. No fights, no chihuahua ladies. Although I found out Chihuahua Lady got placed on my caseload, so I'll get to see oh, her. In a, that's going to be fun. In a week or two. Uh, I'm excited to hear about this. <laughs> because I know the day you're going to uh, encounter her, you're going to uh, be talking. <laughs> yeah. Now the question is, whenever she walks into the office, do you have a couple things just laying out in the middle of the floor uh, just to watch her? I said I was going to get some pee pads and bring them in to put down. I probably will, yeah. I don't want a dog to pee or poop in my office. Because we can't do that. That lady knows the, the She's law one inside and out for, for uh, service animals. And even though there's no way in hell a chihuahua is a service animal... She knows the law so well that, like, she can trap us and then we can't do anything about it. Well, you can't do that. You can't ask for papers to prove. You cannot. You can ask. There's only two questions you're legally allowed to ask. Is it a service animal and is it trained? And then you can't question further. So she just said yes to both questions. Do what? Am I the only one that thinks that's dumb because... No, we all thought it was stupid. Okay. Just checking. And we can't refuse her service because she has a... Or we can't refuse her services because she has a, air quotes, service animal. Because that's discrimination. That's considered discrimination. And she would win a lawsuit against us. And she is the type of person who would sue. I'm not allergic to dogs. What if you were? Well, uh, do you have to produce papers to say I don't know, that you're allergic to dogs? That's a good question. Both of those are good questions. What if you 
He said, well, would you have to produce any papers that say you're allergic to dogs? <laughs> See, the thing is, is I don't have anybody they to... They can't legally ask him that, right? <laughs> I don't, uh... Well, we'll see what would happen is if I said I was allergic, they would just put her on either Chris or Ken's caseload. Oh, I, I bet they would love you for that. Yeah. But, uh... No, 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 no. Therapy v- or ventilator mask. <laughs> that, let her so take uh, therapy from Bane. Yeah. I suppose if the dog... I should find out if the dog pees in my office, can I kick him out and refuse to service them then? Then I don't want pee pads. What, you want to go all the way to the bathroom now? <laughs> no, <laughs> let the dog pee in the floor and then I don't have to have it back there again. Just because the dog pees on... Just because you put pee pads down doesn't mean the dog will pee actually either. He's not trained. He's not going to use them. Well, she says the dog's trained, but I have no idea if the dog's actually trained or not. Come on, she would have to be crazy to lie like that. I mean, it's scared. It sits on her shoulder because it's scared of falling. It's a chihuahua. It's it's born to be scared. I don't know. I could try that. I totally would. Getting what I can from uh, episode five, or at least trying to make some of this out. I'm able to get through. Uh, it's three and two. Is that all of this? It's just uh, I have a lot of bars overlapping things. Yeah, there's only three for Fiona and two for Reese. All right, so I can see these. It's just I have a lot of no, no, yes, no, no, which I'm assuming is the other vault hunters. Yeah, then there's the the vault team. That's supposed to be its own separate page, though. Okay, okay, that's what's going on with this. I don't have the separate thing for the Vault Hunters. So it's all wrapping around on uh, Episode 5s. And it's blocking some of, uh, some of the bars, but I can think I'll make this out. Okay, I think that's all of it. Okay, that's it. Altassi was already running. Got my thing. Drag that down. <clears throat> Try not to minimize everything. Don't know what caused that last time. But that was interesting. Should probably grab my other cup of tea, though. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I'm running a little behind. You're fine. That gives you a time to be threatened by Katie. Yeah. It's every day of my life. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Wow, you've gotten loud. Uh. Did, did I this? Is it my, f- I turned my oh, fan no, on. No, no. I, I think, well, it's your fan, but uh, it's a lot better now. Basically, when I took off the headset, the way the cord wrapped around, it actually held down the plus volume. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it's uh, it's stuffy over here in my corner, so I had to turn my fan on. Well, it sounds like it's stuffy in her corner as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. I was just looking at uh, a noise-canceling profile for the fan while I was waiting. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh it's just, it, I was, it was a lot more apparent whenever, uh, yeah, the volume was turned way up. Yeah. Hey, that tickles. What are you doing? Well, hey, if you need some alone time. Oh, uh, you're unplugging your laptop? laptop? Okay. Stealing your fan. Well, I don't know. You might. You might steal my fan. my way to get back at you for all the abuse. Running a fan? Yeah. I don't hear that much. No. <laughs> Okie dokie. 
Why does she hate fans? Now I need to know this. Well, she just uh, typically... Well, that's good. Fans are good for you. They make they're a nice source of white noise, and they help keep you cooler. Uh, unless you're Korean, then you die if you leave a fan on overnight. Well, yeah, but we're not Korean, so we don't have that problem. What? There's uh, this it's a, it's a ur- myth like, in Korea. urban legend or myth in... Is it North Korea, South Korea, or... Uh, South Korea, of course. Do you think North Korea has electric fans? Well, in some places they would. But anyways, that like whenever you if you fall asleep with a fan running, like it'll kill you. And like some people say, like it pulls your soul out, and some people say like it sucks all the air out of the room and you suffocate. Other things, it's ozone. It's or... Slowly killing me. Yeah, but you're not Korean, so you're fine. They you sell fans. They sell fans. You are not Korean. I might have like a small bit of Korean in me. You never know. You, you don't. You I definitely don't. don't. You don't know that. But yeah, they sell fans what, what, with timers on them, test while she was so asleep? you can turn a fan on, and it'll go off, and it won't, you know, suck all the air out of the room or take your soul away. I'm tempted to say that, that they sell fans with timers on them for other reasons too. Yeah, but it's pretty no. much a standard there. It's There's like that. every fan has a timer on it there for that reason. Yes, but I'm sure we also have fans with timers. Have you ever seen a fan with a timer on it? You probably could find one, but they're not common. Whatever. You racists. Yeah. Hey, everybody's totally a racist. racist. Are you going to bed? No. Well, then what I'm are you leaving you alone? Okay. Good night. Love you. I love you too. Thanks. Alrighty. Well, now uh, that we've had our racist moment for the evening. Indeed. Oh, who are we kidding? We're, we're going to have more than one. Probably. <laughs> I just hear Al in the background. At least I think so. Yeah, she said Al. I don't, I don't know what she did. She's fine. Okie dokie. Yeah, and I didn't see anything on uh, Twitter for her, so... Thankfully, I did pull something from Discord. Sweet. Did All you right. see that one? No, I didn't. Okay, okay. Well, you're going to love this then. <laughs> cool. I would describe the flavor as citrusy with um, a hint of honey and a lot of artificial sweetener. I'll take it that's not good. No, it's delicious. This is my favorite flavor of Monster. Oh. I've just never thought about describing what it tastes like before. And welcome to the energy drink portion of the show. Indeed. Indeed. Hey, it's kind of funny just uh, some of the things that they have locked down at uh, my local grocery store. Energy drinks is one. Batteries, but not all the batteries. Here's what really throws me off, all right? They have some of the batteries in the, uh, the big anti-theft uh, containers. But it's not the batteries that you could easily steal. It's the big, you know, pack of 20-some double A's. Yeah. But the little pack of eight, oh, those are just sitting on a, a, a hook. Oh, sweet. I'm going to I'm gonna come steal some batteries. I, I mean, it just seems like it's counterintuitive, you know? Yeah. Sort of like whenever I was getting uh, my allergy medicine. The cheap stuff that I got... That was like three bucks for a month's worth was in the anti-theft thing. But the gel cap, which is pretty much the same thing, only different delivery method. Thankfully, oral gel cap, I might add. An oil gel cap? Is that what you said? Oral. Oh, oral. You said oil. I was like, that's weird, I think. I I was making a non-suppository ori joke. Uh, but that, you know, which is like three or four times the price for some reason, uh, was just sitting on the shelf. Yeah, I remember when you told me about that. Yeah. 
Still don't know why. I, I don't think it's used to make meth. Because. Fuck you. That's why. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay, yeah. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just shutting things down, killing steam. No, all my that. steams are on there. All my games are on there. Don't kill it. Uh, sorry, no Half-Life uh, 3 for you. Oh, well, I don't care about that anymore. <laughs> and let me get my notes for the E3 conferences that we did cover live. How'd the uh, edit come out? Uh, do you think it's actually decent? I think so. Um, some of them... So, okay, so what I tried to do was that any conversations that we had that you could tell what was going on without the context of the conference mm-hmm. stayed. And I tried to make it seem as conversational as possible, so I would make edits where that it would seem like we would just keep talking, even if it was like 20 minutes before the next conversational segment appeared. And I feel like it turned out really well. If we get like complaints or something, then fair play, but it's it's been good. Or at worst, uh, for next year, uh, here's what I want to do. Granted, this is a lot easier for me than it is you because I have no life. Yeah. I want to do a double show where we do a stream uh, as a, you know, our reactionary stuff, and then we kind of boil things down uh, for the actual podcast or with edits from the uh, other Okay. So, I uh, have our final thoughts, but uh, um, post uh, facto, you know. Yeah. But I uh, have the meat of the content be from the reactionary stuff and uh, talking back and forth. Or at least part of it. Which I realize is a hell of a lot more work for you. Yeah. That would be. <laughs> this has been a lot of work. Because these, I can't do what I usually do with the edits. Like, even trying to keep notes during a couple of conferences didn't really help all that much. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I've been able to skip ahead because obviously when we're not saying anything and, you know, the recording is blank because we were watching, that now, stuff's wonder, easy to cut. But I have I wonder, to listen uh... a lot more than I normally do. I was going to say, I wonder if you should have done a, also a screen recording of the stream so you could have synced it up. I thought about doing that. Uh, like, well, well I thought I should video, have done but... that. And then I thought to myself, well, I could try and get it to sync anyways, but that would take a lot of effort. Hey, Sierra. Are you going to bed? Wanna go drinking with Mr. Monkey again? Yeah. What? Nothing. I just was saying yeah, as in like, okay, I got you. Alright. Rage says goodnight. Good night, Rage. Goodnight, Rage. And don't keep Mr. Monkey up too late drinking, please. He says don't keep Mr. Monkey up too late drinking. I have five AM class, so I won't promise. Why? Where is he supposed to do in the morning? Hang around. That is grown worthy. He said, "Hang around." What? That, he's uh, my microphone monkey. I can't even acknowledge it. Yeah. Kisses. I love you. Mwah. I love you too. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Mm-hmm. Don't the bed bugs bite. Mm-hmm. What are you looking at me like that for? Because. Because why? I'm just ugh, after all of that. Also. You didn't help him finish his chores. What do you mean I didn't help him finish his chores? His we cleaned up the living room. Are on my bed. Oh, well, oh. Two chores. We'll put them in the floor. I'll take care of it with him tomorrow. Put them in the floor, like throw them on the floor and just say, forget this? I mean, if you want to do that, but I'm not going to fold them back. You, if you sit well, them gently on the floor, the floor. you sit them, them the gently on the floor, they'll stay folded. I'll put them in a basket. Please. You can put them in a basket, that's fine. 
you could set them on my pile of clothes that I need to finish folding. Unless you folded those and I just didn't notice. I folded everything else in the bedroom. Oh, even the ones that were in the floor on yes. my side of the bed? Okay. Yes, how dare you not notice my hard work. Rude. You'll live. I will not. <laughs> well, then I'll miss you when you're gone. You're right. What an ass. Wink. You set me up for that. That's your fault. I'm just going to throw something at me for a second. I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Please murderize him. He's not responding. Either he went away or he's staying out of it. Rage. Rage. He's still not responding. Go. Why? Because the sooner we get started, the sooner we can be done. And then the sooner I can get to work on editing the remainder of the stuff and then go to sleep. I'm tired. Now you're just being mean. I love you. I love you too. Apologize. <laughs> Put you your turn my face fe- away. You turn my feel goods into feel bads. Apologize. You live. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Okay. Bye. Rage. Hello. You left. Apparently. Nope, definitely not muted. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. Yep, it's plugged in. Plugged in all the way. Let me see if Skype's messed up. I assume by your typing that means you can hear me. Yeah, the, the the Skype chat notification sound came through my headphones. Why don't we just restart the call?